Hey, hey, little buggers. Welcome back to another MLPAU. Today we are looking at a changeling um, AU. Not too sure what it's about, so we're just going to jump right on in. Rarity, are you here? Rarity, thanks, Celestia. Why, Spike, you're white as a ghost. What's the matter? There's something wrong with Twilight. Whatever do you mean, darling? Tap. Is that I? What is that? What is this right here in between them? What, 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 what is this thing? Tap, tap. Oh, I know what the tapping is now. Holy cow. Oh, that's, that's awful. Oh my gosh. There is something mesmerizing about that. A ch it's like a changeling is wearing her, quite literally. Th that is horrible. True one, creepy imagery. Spike, what happened to Twilight? Oh, is Twilight okay? I did that a little wrong, but oh well, who cares? Well, Twilight was called to Canterlot to handle some urgent royal matters. I decided to stay home to handle my own urgent matters, catching up on the latest issue of my favorite comic books, of course. But days went by with no sign of Twilight. I started to get really worried. I turned to Applejack for help, but all she says, Don't even worry, I'm sure she's just off doing some prissy princess nonsense. When finally, Spike, 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 oh, that looks awful. Oh, that's god awful. That's straight up, ugh, ugh, awful, only awful, bad. Looks like she's gone. What if she needs help, Spike? We should at least make sure she's okay. <clears throat> You're right. I didn't even try to help. I was too scared. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Oh, that's horrible. Run, Spike, before it gets back up. Hurry, Spike, hurry! I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, my poor mane. Quick, let's hide here. I think we're safe. That's awful. <laughs> She's just a little quirky. She's just got the flu, that's all. <laughs> she found us. We're doomed. Not if I can help it. Huh? What are you? Stay back, you monster. Don't you lay a hoof on Spike. No, wait, please. It's me, Twilight. The real Twilight. Darling, is it really you? I'm so glad you're safe. But I don't understand. Then, who was it at my window? What's going on, Twy? It's the changelings. They're back. I don't know what they're planning, but it can't be good. Let's find the others first. Then we can figure out what to do from there. I just hope they're alright. Oh dear. It's the invasion. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so cool. What a cool, cool potential for this series. How to Spot a Changeling by Twilight Sparkle. Creepy imagery. <clears throat> Changelings work in a hierarchy. Ranks are assigned by birth or special instructions from Queen Chrysalis. Higher ranking changelings are granted more magic and important tasks. Lower ranking changelings takes what they can get by carrying out the dirty work. 
Similar to insects, changelings go through a molting process. This process is connected to their magic, allowing them to not only molt at will, but to allow their old skin to mimic the appearance of other ponies. The old skin formed around them is made of a stretchy substance, almost like rubber, and can build up to form mock eyes, teeth, horns, wings, hair, etc. Changelings possess a strong jaw used to latch onto prey. Once those teeth sink in, they hold onto their prey for an extended period. Teeth, once used for de draining love, now yield a deadly bite that can rip through bone. Due to their flexible bodies, they're also able to unhinge their jaws for effectively swallowing large chunks of meat. Slices through molt with ease, once done with disguise, also the source of their magic. Eyes, night vision, superior eyesight in the dark, but below average eyesight in the day. Antenna, used for smelling, tasting, and sensing surroundings. What the heck is that? Pedipalps? Extra appendages too small to be used for mobility, rather are for holding prey in place while feeding. Oh shoot, yo, it's got mini legs. It's got mini legs. Flexible organs and rubber-like skeletons allow changelings to shrink and move into unnatural positions. Okay, that's cool. This just makes changelings so much cooler. Sunken sockets. Though their molts are stretchy, they're also thin and fragile. They can be easily cut through with something sharp. Oh my. Loose skin. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Noticeable changeling features. Holes, unnatural posture, visible changeling eyes, visible changeling wings, missing hair or feathers, visible fangs, stretched features, no cutie mark. Lower ranking changelings don't have enough magic to mimic their victims to an exact copy. Instead of acting as a replacement, they rely on voice mimicry and stalking to catch their prey. Okay, this is cool. Multiple changeling features, visible fangs, inappropriate expression, unequal pupil size, sunken eyes, unkempt mane, small horn and or wings, little to no holes, fake cutie mark. Higher ranking changelings have an easy time blending in. They trick their prey by acting as a loved one, then striking when their prey's guard is down. If it weren't for their nasty attitude and lack of social understanding, they would be almost impossible to single out. Chrysalis Changelings work in a hierarchy. Ranks are assigned by birth of their queen, instruction of higher queen, granted more magic and point out. Didn't I read this already? The magic one of the not only moment well, but it'll allow old skin to mimic. Yeah, I didn't didn't I read that? Oh, this is just zoomed in. I get it. I get it. That's just closer up for everyone. Gosh dang, that's fun. That was very fun. Very fun. Short, sweet, simple. I love the, uh... The, uh... Come on, give me a second. Give me a second. Bear with me. Nope. It's not this one. It's the next one. The ending of this one. This right here, to me, is really cool. Nice spooky music. Gosh, dude, that's... That's foreboding. I love that. Anyways, folks, I'll leave this in the description down below so you folks can go check this out, and I will see you in the next one.